All right, Dusty, so I got to ask you, you've been around this game for a long time, but growing up, who were some of your favorite players? Well, my number one favorite player was Tommy Davis. That's why I wear number 12. Okay. And I always have worn number 12 because I like the way that he played, like the way that he hit, like the way that he ran. And uh, he was my favorite, but, you know, I had other favorites like, uh, well, of course, Hank Aaron. I got to see him play at the Coliseum uh, when it was Little League Day. And uh, the old Coliseum, they had the, the moon shot out in left field. And, uh, and I fell in love with him and Eddie Matthews and, uh, and Joe Edcock. I think they hit a combination of like in a double hitter, they hit like seven, eight home runs or something. Man. So Frank Robinson, I like Frank Robinson because I had skinny legs and Frank had skinny legs, you know, but I, I couldn't hit. I wish I could have hit like. You know, like Frank Robinson, my brother really loved Orlando. I mean, uh, my, my brother really loved uh, Roberto Clemente. You know what I mean? And I liked Julian Javier also because Julian was the only guy that, that, that you know, hit Sandy Koufax well. So it just shows to show you that not always the best players, you know, you know are somebody's nemesis. And, and some, sometimes somebody has your number. Okay, so... When you look at today's game and look at the generation of these players, I mean, you, you've obviously managed some of the greatest players that we've seen. When you look at the talent today, what do you see in the differences in the guys maybe from the past to now? Um, probably uh, some of the major differences is that, you know, the amount of teams that are out there. Um, and, uh, you know, there's not as much competition on, you know, for jobs. On, on different teams. And uh, back then, if you got hurt, somebody take a job. But now if you get hurt, there's a good chance there's not anybody that's, that's as good as you on your team to take your job. You know, I think that's one of the major differences. And also, uh, you know, just the fact that, um, you know, just society's changed. Society's changed, period. You know, and, uh, you know, that, whoever coined that slogan, Take care of number one and do this and that. I mean, that's that's changed a little bit. It's getting harder and really harder as a whole to teach, um, you know, team. You know, especially when the money's so high that that you get a runner on second base. You know, it was a sin not to get him to third base with nobody out. But now guys are trying to get him in. You know, you know to you know to increase their own numbers. Like I said, it's not their fault. Or like Bob Marley says, don't blame the children, you gotta blame the adults. And so, and so uh, you know, that's some of the major differences. It is getting harder to, to teach a uh, team. Okay, so baseball Mount Rushmore. I, I, have, a fun, I have fun with this question. Mm -hmm. And you know the Mount Rushmore mm -hmm. consists of four people. So I've I, been there and uh, I always wanted to go. Okay, so we're gonna have fun with this though. We're gonna break it down to four positions. One catcher, one pitcher, one infielder, one outfielder. And I know this is on the spot and you obviously managed and played against a lot of different guys. Who would be your catcher on your Mount Rushmore all time? Johnny Bench. Yeah. Infielder? Infielder. Uh, hmm. Boy, there's some, there's some good ones out there. Um, Derek Jeter. Oh, wow. That has been a unanimous answer. So that's pretty good. I like, okay, outfielder. Hank Aaron. Okay, and pitcher. Mm, Sandy Koufax. Wow, 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 I like that. I like that, so. Because I asked Hank Aaron one time. Oh. No, I asked him, I said, hey man, who's the toughest guy you ever faced? And he told me Sandy Koufax. And so I asked Sandy Koufax, who's the toughest hitter you ever faced? He told me, bad Henry Aaron. Wow. So that was that's a sign of respect when each one of them name each one of them as a as one of the, as the toughest that they ever face. Recipes to the great Hank Aaron. So when you look at like you coach a guy like Barry Bonds, I mean you <laughs> seeing what he was able Barry's, to do. Barry, Barry, if it wasn't Frank Aaron, Barry would be in Mount, Mount Rushmore. But well, being there doing his prime and seeing that, what do you what do you think about that? I like to compare them all, uh, always to, to, to Hank Aaron because they both have tremendous vision. And, 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 and not only vision and concentration, and they had, they were hitters with, with sluggish power because neither one of them struck out. 
You know what I mean? And I, I don't think Hank struck out 100 times uh, in his whole career, and Barry might have early, but didn't strike out later in his career, and they had, he had tremendous concentration where Barry get one or two pitches a night to hit, and then don't miss him and hit him. And, uh, you know, that's hard. I mean, I mean, it's hard to just look at ball, you know, because I, I like to relate it to fishing. You know, you can be fishing all day and don't have a bite, and the one time you look away or don't concentrate, that's when you get a bite. Well, and that's Barry Bonds, you know. Uh, uh, I mean, he didn't get a pitch to hit all day, but when, they, when he got his pitch, he was still ready for it. I like that. Last question. Let's talk about this Astros team, obviously. You're first in the division, obviously there's bigger expectation goals for you guys. Um, what are you seeing this team and the potential going forward? Well, the fact that we haven't even uh, scratched the service on how good we can be. You know, I mean, uh, you know, uh, you know, we haven't we haven't operated on, on full cylinders yet. You know, and hopefully we get out out of Rizzi back. Hopefully we get a, a, one of our main guys back, Lance McCullers. I mean, that would be that would be uh, huge, and then. You know, uh, we've only had a couple guys hitting. Uh, so, uh, I mean, and these guys can hit. These guys can play. So, I'm just looking forward to to when uh, we're operating on all cylinders. Well, Dustin, I appreciate you for your time. And look forward to seeing you in October, man, and get that, get that ring, man. I appreciate you for everything. Thank you. Right, thank bro. you. Thank you.